bright. I have brought to new delight. Here, behold her, goodly grown, with two branches of our own. Heaven hath timely tried their youth, their faith, their patience, and their truth, and sent them here through hard essays with a crown of deathless praise to triumph here in victorious dance over sensual folly and intemperance. method of teaching arts. I deem it to be an old error of universities not yet well recovered from the scholastic grossness of barbarous ages, that instead of beginning with arts most easy, and those be such as most obvious to the sense, they present their young, unmatriculated novices at first coming with the most intellective abstractions of logic and metaphysics, so that they having but newly left those grammatic flats and shallows where they stuck unreasonably to learn a few words with lamentable construction, and now, on the sudden, transported under another climate to be tossed and turmoiled with their unballasted wits and fathomless and unquiet deeps of controversy, a Jew for the most part, <laughs> grow to hatred and contempt of learning, mocked and deluded all this while with ragged notions and babblements, while they expected worthy and delightful knowledge. Some, alert to the trade of law, grounding their purposes not on the prudent and heavenly contemplation of justice and equity, which was never taught them, but on the promising and pleasing thoughts of litigious terms, fat contentions, and flowing fees. Others betake them to state affairs, with souls so unprincipled in virtue and true generous breeding that flattery, court shifts, and tyrannous aphorisms appear to them the highest points of wisdom, instilling their hearts with a conscientious slavery, if, as I rather think, it be not vain. Others, lastly, of a more delicious and airy spirit, yeah. retire themselves, knowing no better to the enjoyments of ease and luxury, <laughs> living out their days in feast and jollity, which is indeed the wisest and safest course of all these. Unless they were with more integrity undertaken, and these are the fruits of misspending our prime youth at the schools and universities as we do, either in learning mere words or such things chiefly as were better left unlearned. I shall detain you no longer in the demonstration of what we should not do, but straight conduct you to a hillside where I will point you out the right path of a virtuous and noble education. I call, therefore, a complete and generous education that which befits a man to perform justly, skillfully, and magnanimously all the offices, both private and public, of war and peace. <laughs> Beneath the broad fields of the sky, there suck the liquid air all amidst the beaches fair of Santa Cruz and her neighbor's shores, beckoning them to the great outdoors. Now our task is smoothly done. We can fly or we can run quickly to the green earth's end where the bowed welkin slow doth bend, and from thence can soar as soon to the corners of the moon. Mortals that would follow me Love virtue, she alone is free. She can teach ye how to climb higher than the sphery chime. Or if virtue feeble were, heaven itself would stoop to her. Solicited encore. Um, last week uh, we put on some scenes. For